I'm going to draw Marble the hamster doing something exciting. Wow, now I am excited. So I've got my brush pen, piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to draw her head first of all. Hamsters have got very fat cheeks because they like to store their food in them. And then the little nose and the smiley mouth. I mean, hamsters' ears are normally quite flat. Got a few hairs inside. Hamster's eyes are really dark, so leave a little sort of oval shape like that. So Tom imagines that having a hamster is going to be really exciting. And what could be more exciting than a hamster in space? This is where the fun starts. And let's put her in a space suit. This is the space helmet, all the way around like that. Let's give her some space boots as well. What else? She needs a jet pack. If you draw a little window that looks like it's a reflection and obviously she's in space so is a planet with an alien wow that's cool okay let's add a bit of color i'm going to add a bit of orange to marble's face take a bit of blue let's do her space boots Whee. let's add a few stars orange alien down here. Marble in space. How about that? So what else could Marble be doing? I think Marble would like a disco. So I'm going to draw Marble's face again. A few whiskers, draw another ear, and then those eyes. Hamsters are quite tricky to draw. So Marble is wearing a disco outfit, little flared trousers and little hamster boots chain. There's some sort of movement lines. And of course, got to give her a disco ball. A few sparkles as well. Great stuff. Add a little bit of colour. I don't know whether Tom will ever get a pet. It's because Delia's allergic, but he'd love a hamster though. So I'm just going to add a few little movement lines to Marble because she's having a little dance. That just makes her look like she's moving. Love it. There you go. That's Marble the hamster, having fun. Amazing. So you might like to have a go at drawing Marble, doing something completely different. Hi, I'm Liz and I write and draw the Tom Gates books. And this is a dog zombie. Dog Zombies is the name of Tom's band. And Tom's in the band with his best friends, Derek and Norman. And I'm going to draw maybe a few different sized zombies. Um, there could be some drool. Amazing! Let's get drawing. I'm going to use this brush pen. You can use whatever you want to draw with. And I'm going to start over here. I'm going to do a circle and I always do one really big eye and then a small eye. And some scars. Now they're kind of like hunched over. So that's one big dog zombie. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do a little one. So again, start with a circle, different types of ears this time. And again, one big eye, one little one. One thing's for sure, if you're going to draw a zombie, you've got to draw a scar. Good tip. Okay, let's draw another one. Draw another one with a different shaped head. This one's going to have pointy ears, different, slightly different shaped eyes. And just to show you, you can turn anything into a dog zombie. Let's turn Marcus into a dog zombie. Kind of crazy stare. I think maybe his hair should be a little bit his scars. He's got the same kind of zombie walk. So that's Marcus. One more thing to do. I'm going to take a pencil now and just do a little bit of shading underneath the feet. Like that. This gives a bit of texture to around the eyes. And then there's one more thing to do afterwards. Really important thing to do. Mustn't forget the drool. They all need a bit of drool. Three different types of dog zombies. 
and a marker zombie just for good measure. Love it! I'm going to show you how to draw a dog zombie logo because every good band needs a logo and this is it. What I'm going to do is kind of like bubble writing. Start with a D. Got to have a good logo that stands out. These brush pens are really good for different thick and thin lines. Dog Zombies is the name of Tom's band and Tom's in the band with his best friends, Derek and Norman. Now all it's missing is a dog zombie. Tangeliers, big starey eyes. This is for balancing on the top. Bit of drool. Just take your pen and draw all the way around outside. There you go, all done. One dog zombie logo all ready for the band. Here's how to draw a short car that turns into a very long car with some surprising passengers as well. First thing you do, take your piece of paper and fold it in half lengthways, corner to corner, then press down, run your finger along the edge, like that, cut it in half. Be careful with scissors, cut away from you. So hold the paper and follow the line down the middle. You only need one half, you can save this for something else. Good tip. So now you've got half your piece of paper, I'm going to sketch out uh, a design of a very long car that goes all the way from one side to the other. So I'm doing it very roughly to begin with. Because we are going to fold it at the end, so you want this line here to match up with that one, which it pretty much does. So let's go over the pencil line with your black pen. It's kind of like the car bumper. Colour in the wheels. Add a few passengers now. So Tom's right at the end. So we've got a little dog zombie who's leaning out of the window because dogs like to do that. Randomly, I'm adding a giraffe. Let's add some colour. Make it a red car. Amazing. So we need to fold so you can't see the giraffe or the dog zombie. So if you can match it up, let's just fold that down there. Do it very slowly at first. Don't make a sharp fold until you're absolutely sure that you've got it in the right place. Awesome. There you go. All done. There's your short car that turns into a very long car. <laughs> with extra passengers. <laughs> it's Liz. She writes and draws all the Tom Gates books. Right, let's see what's in the box. My favourite bit. Aha, it's a tote bag. Oh, I see. What this tote bag needs is a monster. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is work out your drawing. I've done a little tester here. So I've drawn on a piece of paper already and that's quite a good tip if you want to slide that into the tote bag so that you don't make a mistake. And also the other thing you've got to remember is put something on the table, especially if you're using fabric pens or permanent markers. You don't want them getting on your fingers and you definitely don't want them getting on the table. So now I've worked out my design. What I'm going to do is slide this in to the tote bag. That also stops any markers or anything going on to the back of the tote bag as well. Got it. Thanks, Liz. Let's start up here. These monsters are all over the Tom Gates books as a doodle. I just know they're really fun to draw. Let's draw his foot over there. 
Now, the monster has one big eye and what I call a letterbox mouth and a little bit of hair. Now I'm going to draw a box underneath. You could write your name in there. Love it! Let's draw a few stars. Right, now I'm going to start filling up my drawing with those nice lines, like circular lines or just curved lines. You know, it looks really complicated, but actually it's a very simple pattern. It's just about repeating the same curved line and filling up your drawing. There you go. I think I finished doing my black line. So now it's time to put a bit of color on it. Uh, I think green for the monster. Great stuff. Might just do a little tester. Oh, that's quite nice. Matches my dress. <laughs> I'm obviously in a green mood today. But, you know, monsters could be any colour you want. OK, that's the monster done. Let's colour in some stars. Don't worry if you go over the lines either. It doesn't really matter. I love the colours. I'm going to use some bright orange now. Ooh, that's really bright. <laughs> that's like a fluorescent colour. See, I'm colouring in quite a lot of it, but you don't have to. You can always leave it in black and white if you want. Or just colour it with one colour. It doesn't have to be multicoloured at all. See, I keep stopping and having a look. Just trying to work out where I want to put the colours. Right, I'm going to sign my name. Bye, Liz. Ishan. There we are, all done. Take the paper out. And there you have it, your monster tote bag. Brilliant world of Tom Gates. Watch it now on Sky 